this transition. Pretty cool, right? That's called a Carwell Zoom transition you can easily create in Premiere Pro. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. How's it going on guys? So last week, I posted a video about several mask transitions in Premiere Pro, which is kind of related to this video. So make sure that you watch that one as well. And if you're ready, let's get right into the work. You can download all the assets I've used in this video via the link down below. And I'll share its password as we progress into the tutorial. So start by adding your video into the timeline, move to where you want the transition to happen, in my case it will be right here, right click and add a frame hold and move its layer up above. Expand your timeline, right click on one of the tracks and select add tracks to add a few video tracks into your timeline. Now you can move this layer further up, select it and apply an ellipse mask on it. Drop the mask further and start fixing it around the car wheel. Once you're done, hold Alt and duplicate the layer, select it and check the inverted box in the mask panel. Right click on the layer below and uncheck the enable option to disable the layer for now. This is what your car wheel looks like once you disable that layer. Now select the upper layer, hold Alt to duplicate it and drag it down below. Select the layer you just duplicated and decrease its scale a little bit so it will look like this. Again, duplicate the layer and move it down below, drop its scale a little bit and keep doing this for 2 or 3 layers more. Once you're done, you'll have a result like this on your car wheel and now you can enable the layer we disabled before, go to the effect control panel and set keyframes for position and rotation. Move the playhead a few frames forward and change the position value to the point that the car wheel moves out of the sight. Hold Alt to duplicate the rotation keyframe, select both keyframes, right click and select Ease In. Now move the playhead to the beginning, set the rotation value to 360. And now you can play with the keyframes to get your desired speed for the animation. Once you're done, go to the effects panel and search for directional blur. Add it to your animated layer. To make the animation smoother and more natural, add about 90 degree direction and 7 blur length. You can adjust these values to your desire and get the best result. Now select all these layers above, right click and select nest. In the effects panel, search for transform and add it to your nested layer. Move the playhead to where you want the transition to start. Add keyframes for position, scale and rotation. Hold Alt to duplicate and place them few frames forward. Head to the duplicated keyframes and increase the scale value to the point that your screen is completely black. You can also change the position value if needed. Now move to the first keyframes and change the rotation value to 360. Uncheck this box and set the shutter angle to 200. Select all the second keyframes, right click and make them ease in. Select all the first keyframes as well and make them ease out. Now is the time to add the second clip under your nested layer. If you're done adjusting the keyframes, press enter to render your footage. If you feel like your animation is too fast, double click on the nested layer, select all of these layers and extend them. Head back to the timeline and extend the nested layer as well. Now you can select the second keyframes and move them a few frames forward and adjust the speed of your animation. You can also add a few sound effects to enhance the transition. I'll use a wish sound effect for the movement of the wheel. Make sure that you decrease the sound effects volume so they will sound more natural. Let's add another wish sound effect for the transition itself. And 
this is what we created for our cool car wheel transition. If you guys found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Here's the password to download the assets I've used in the video and you can download them via the link in the description. See you all later!